let's dig a little bit more into leucine. So um, you mentioned two and a half grams of leucine is kind of like a, a threshold when you consume that amount from, from what I understand and listening to you and reading your work is that triggers a sort of uh, maximal muscle protein synthesis response to that meal. And as you alluded to earlier, that's where the 30 grams of protein, quality protein in a meal came from because that essentially helps you get to that 2.5 grams of, of leucine. So at a sort of muscle level, why leucine? Why this particular amino acid? Why is it important? What's it doing? Okay, so <clears throat> as I was mentioned earlier, there's a real difference in how the body regulates protein synthesis in the liver versus muscle. The liver has this continuous need for protein synthesis, so it's around the clock, and it regulates more by energy. So unless you're super starving, the liver goes about its doing its business. In muscle, because it's so big and it costs so much, it requires so much energy, there's some estimates that you know very high percentage of basal metabolism rates are actually for protein synthesis. Muscle's really an expensive uh, thing to maintain. So the body has learned to do it at meals. It's learned to do that. And I want to come back to children versus adults, but do it at meals. What we now know, what we discovered in the late 1990s is that one of the triggers for all of this is the branch chain amino acid leucine. For years, since the 1930s, we've known that the branch chain amino acids are not metabolized in liver. All of the other amino acids are metabolized in liver, but these three branch chain, leucine, valine, and isoleucine, get sent out primarily to skeletal muscle. So the body has learned to sense it. It senses it as an indicator of protein coming in. And basically, when that leucine concentration goes up from basically fasting levels to about three times fasting levels, uh, it triggers a complex inside muscle known as mTOR. And that's the main sort of central regulatory function that triggers all these sort of initiation factors. And we trigger maximum protein synthesis. What we now know is that there are actually four signals that the muscle is integrating at the same time. And this is very different than liver. It's integrating protein by sensing leucine. It's integrating growth hormones, insulin and IGF-1. It's integrating energy, ATP, and it's integrating stress, resistance exercise. Mm -hmm. When all four of those are correctly balanced, it triggers mTOR and muscle protein synthesis. So all of those it's looking at. Um, what's interesting is that in children, it's dominated by the insulin, it's dominated by the hormone side, and meal distribution doesn't make any difference in children. But once you stop growing, the hormones no longer control that system, and now it's dominated by meal quality, and leucine is the mm -hmm. primary key. 